Hello everybody, welcome to Great Leveler Gaming. I am the Great Leveler. Today, as you can tell from the screen around you, we're playing Seven Days to Die. So we're keeping most of the options. I'm not really changing any of the options, uh, but I don't think I have changed is the 24 hour cycle down to 40 minutes. I was in an hour in about 30 minutes, but I think 40 is fair because I don't want stupidly long episodes, but I'm going to try and keep an episode one day per episode. So 40 minutes, I think is a nice time. So that's enough looking at menus and screens. Let's jump straight into it. Boom. And here we are in Les World. Hey, so I haven't played this game since the last time you saw it on the channel. Am I standing? I am. God, I'm not a very tall person. Uh, yeah, so I've not played it on the channel since then. The reason we were going to do a lot more with that game, uh, but I like doing cinematic series where I can, and it just wasn't working because obviously with the day count, like Ark, Ark's easy to go back in because it doesn't matter what day I'm on, whether it's on day five or day 500. Um, I can, it doesn't really affect anything with, with this one. The time it takes me to go back, get cinematic shots, etc., etc. Uh, oh, hang on, what's this sign say? Condemn, that's right. I was making sure I wasn't walking to a minefield. Uh, basically, um, it, you know, it, it messes up my progress. So we're probably not going to make this a, a cinematic series. If we do, it's going to be very bare minimum cinematics, like establishing shots, etc. Do I hear a voice? But yeah, I've been waiting for this. Because for, obviously, if you saw that video, it was still the old version of Seven Days to Die. There's definitely someone in here. Hi. Okay. Uh, well, we're fine already, I guess. Oh, you can hit me. Bitch. Are you... How are you hitting me and I'm not hitting you? God, let me just put this woman... There we go. Let the flames do the work a little while. Because you die now? No? Come on, please just, just fall down. If you could die again, I'd really, really appreciate that. You're stubborn. There we go. 400 XP. In your face. Uh, hang on. How do I search? Okay, we don't. All right, hopefully she's the only one that's in here. So, as we were saying, the last one we looked at looked absolute dog shit. Uh, because, you know, it was the... Although the PlayStation... Ver uh, PC version, sorry, was getting constantly updated. The uh, PlayStation... Oh, my God! You... Oh my god, I'm nearly dead already. I suppose 44 is not nearly dead, but it's more nearly dead than I would like. Holy crap. Oh. Is that... Is there anybody else? There's some... This looks sacrificial. So, what I was trying to say, is that one look dog crap? Oh, untouched. Untouched, untouched. Right, let's have a look. Have we got anything? Some... Fat? Animal fat. Take that. Oh, hang on. Did I take it all? Must have done. Okay. It looked rubbish, basically. It's not been updated, but the PC versions were constantly getting updated. So I was really disappointed, and I went off the idea of playing Seven Days to Die on the channel. But as you can see, it's now finally being released uh, officially on the consoles as well now. And it looks stunning. The zombies look a lot better um, there's a lot of things that I don't think I really got a chance to partake in. Is there a way to quick move it? Yeah. Uh, I didn't get to partake in, in the last version because it was so, um, outdated. Uh, oh, get hammered. Take full stack. I, I know all this. I'm just, can I read that? How do I go into my inventory? Inspect. In sledgehammer crafting skill. Boom! So yeah, there's lots of things that I could do in the previous version of this game that I'm absolutely excited to be doing in this version. So I'm uh, really happy that it's finally locked. Now, uh, if you remember the last video I did on this series, we had uh, 
Devil Drive Games came and we had a, a little bit of a session together. But as I said, I just wasn't keen on the game. So we never really went back to it. But now that this one's out, we're actually planning on doing a collab very, very soon. In fact, we might have even done it by the time this episode comes on out. Uh, what the hell? That sounds big. I really need to get a better weapon. Well, I'm seeing to be doing all right. Oh my god. What's going off? Oh, right, let's use this bandage. I was hoping not to have to use bandages so soon. Thank you. Um, yeah, so we're hoping to do a collab soon. Now, I'm not sure what the plan is yet. We've not got that far. Whether he's going to join my game or I'm going to join his. But either way, I'm really looking forward to uh, doing that. But I'm hoping that in the future as well, we'll have other people joining this world. Unless I do something stupid like I did on the last lot, which is... Um... Oh, loot all L3. I'll have to remember that. Uh, if I do something stupid, which is... Uh, I because I've not set anything up for multiplayer on this version, if it ends up being that I can't... Oh, let me just get... Learn life-saving skills. Make more bandages medical supplies from common household items. Definitely need that. Uh, yeah, so it might not let me invite him into the game, uh, my game, because I've already set it up like this. So I'm hoping that's not going to be the case. But if it is, we'll see. But yeah, I'd love to have more people join this series. Ooh, that was good. I know I shouldn't be using a torch for breaking things. This is rookie. I know it is. Can I power up a hit? Oh, quick, oh that's cool. Oh, I didn't even see you there, mate. Please go down. Oh, come on, do me a favor. Oh. Oh, already. Eat my ass. Really going to town on it. Okay, so this was... The I'm not going for a perfect run in this series. I probably do something similar to what I've done in other series, which is uh, pick like a a day to like work towards. You know, like let's say day fifty, just off the top of my head. Work towards day fifty, and then when we get there, um, ooh, uh, maybe start again because by that point I should be fully skilled. You know, got all the the little attributes that I need to make a decent playthrough. So this is my this is my test run. So I might just do I might even just do a fortnight. Um, we'll see. We'll we'll play it by ear and uh, see how the series goes. But I am it is one that I want to stick with. We are actually going to start doing more games like this. The reason we're going to do more games like this is because it's a lot easier for me. So hang on, hang on. What's this? Clay. Oh, I don't need clay, but I do need a... Oh, no, not even a small stone. I can't even do it with a... Oh, hang on. Can I craft a club already? I just need wood? Why didn't I build one earlier? That would have been immensely useful. Right, how do I quick... Uh... Oh, perfect. Wow, we're getting a real feel for this game already. Wish I'd have done this, though, sooner. Um, yeah, so we'll see. This is going to be my test run. So, like I said, I might tell you what we're going to do. Uh, 7, 12, 7, 14. My, 28 days. We're going to do 28 days. And once we've done... Where, where is he? Oh, you're back here. Remember me? Remember me? Remember me? Dick. My God! Right, where's my backpack? Ah. Okay, I went in a little bit too cocky there. 
But I killed him. And that's the main thing. Is, can I pick up that bedroll? Can I pick it up by destroying it and using this stuff? I know these are very bad, bad moves on my part. You don't have to tell me that. Oh, well, we got some fabrics. And everything's open. I'm just taking everything. I am, uh, to start with, going to be... I like this thing. So I think, personally, this is going to be a perfect first home. Now, this flashlight, I'm sure, is supposed to indicate something I can use, but I don't know what. So, yeah, I have now decided in the space of five minutes, we're going to do the first series is only going to be 28 days. That's going to be enough time to get a feel for the game, learn what I should have done better the first time, and then we're going to start brand new. Uh, but, yeah, so this is going to be, I think, a good place for a home because it's in pretty good. Oh, my God. I didn't check any corners, did I? Oh, I missed you. Oh, did you fall down? Ah. Take that. Oh, wow. Look at the blood spray. Oh, this is so much better than the last version I played. Oh. So, anyway, right then. I think we're going to make this our home. It's a nice, it's a nice building. Got a couple of floors, so plenty of room to improve upon it. Uh, we've already cleared it out. And uh, I just, I really like the layout. So this is going to be our home. I have already decided. I've looked absolutely nowhere, but I think this is a good starting location. We can uh, really work with what we've got here. What the heck? I remember seeing you earlier. What is that? It's cold. Yeah, I'll take cold. Huh. So do, do I have a... a how do I claim something? I don't think I can. All right. So what do I need for a bedroll? I need 10 plant fibers. So that is what we're going to go do. Let's go. How do I do it? Is that it? Oh, look at this. Look at us go. Let's go put a bed in there then. Yeah, I love this place. I love this little office. I love this fireplace. Um, so first things first, let's go put a bed Upstairs. I'm going to widen this staircase because I don't like that. Now, it would be great if I could just, you know, claim the bed, but obviously I can't. Um, so if I quick move that. How do I rotate? Nope. There we go. So it looks a little weird floating like that but how do i place it is it because it's on something it doesn't want to be on ah l2 so well that is bleeping that means i can't put it down great so there we go Right, and so let's say, this is my character, and this is the one that I've designed. Thought that looked pretty cool. Uh, you know me. So I, there is no XP penalty on death. Ooh, did I select that? I don't remember selecting that. So uh, paintbrush, you don't need paintbrush. I've already learned that, have I not? Can I get that again? Yes, I can. So let's uh, now go build some clothes and web. I'm hearing more moaning. And why? Where are all these bodies coming from? I'm sure it's fine. I don't don't matter about bodies in my house. But I really like this. I like the location. It's not it's not too hot. It's not too cold. There's plenty of trees. So much potential. So this is. <laughs> Yep, this is my home. Already decided. So let's get some plant fibers. I assume that's what I need for clothing. There we go. We've already got some clothes. It's a shame that this still doesn't have, um, or at least as far as I've figured out on the controls, a third-person mode. 
But it's not the end of the world. Oh my god, that's they sound like there's something else around here. Oh, I'm really enjoying this. It's amazing, just like I couldn't even tell you what's Excuse me. <laughs> it's your fault you died that way. Um, it's amazing just what a small difference these things can make to games, though, because, like I said, ultimately not much has changed, and yet it feels like a different experience. So let's say, oh, backpack, that looks like it'll be handy. So let's go see my neighbors, shall we? I want to try and find a trader as well. Oh, <gasps> you have got to be kidding me. A pipe rifle already? That is a hell of a surprise. So what's it take? What kind of weapon uh, ammo does it take? Um, what's this this thing here? Seven six two. Okay, so what do I need to do to craft seven six two? I assume that means I need to be at a table. Bullet tip, gunpowder, and casing. Oh god, I saw a lot. Mm, I should really leave that at home. I knew I heard somebody else. This is my house. Where are you going? Seriously? Oh, much better out in the open. It was the confinement of the house that did me earlier. What's this? What is this? Just for a friendly reminder that you pay on time every time or there will be consequences. Next time we won't be so nice. Thanks for the gear, but you still owe us. See you soon, the Duke? What the hell is that? I, I owe people money already? I've only just started. Come on, good stuff. Mm, that'll do. In fact, that will do. Because that's a wrench, isn't it? I think that's handy for... Yeah, getting lots of supplies. Ooh! Great! I'm not going to fill up on all this stuff, though. So does that mean that now... I can create a stone axe? Wow. And while we're at it, let's make a, a small bow. A small bow. A primitive bow. And how many arrows? Three. Hmm. It's better than nothing. So I know this isn't the most exciting first day and i'm sure if you follow seven days to die this is probably the least exciting video you might have ever seen i'm hoping it's not but if it is i apologize but we will get better and better for now i'm just having fun getting used to the game i know i hear you coming i'm sure i'm all right to just take all that whatever it was oh you're all the way over there look oh why is there double skulls on here does that mean this is dangerous Am I in the danger zone? I feel like I'm in the danger zone. So I'm definitely not going to go in there. Ooh, so I'm actually not far off getting a sledgehammer. So let's get us a sledgehammer. I'll feel... I've seen... Uh, again, you know me. I love Neves Gaming. Uh, and I know that Simon swears by the sledgehammer. So if it's good enough for Simon... It's certainly good enough for me to get started until I can get something cool like a machete. But until I get a machete, this will do. Hello there! Oh, but you still took a couple of hits, but that definitely feels better. Yes! Fear me. All right, we are doing really well, although it's already 9 o'clock. Again, we selected short days, so obviously that's going to be um, a problem because, you know, it means nighttime's going to come a lot quicker. But I think we've got a really good start. So what I need, really, really need to work on is uh, storage, storage. Storage of weapons. So why the hell would the traders be? I don't know. Okay. 
Oh, it's night time, so we're going to head back home. Run away like little scared children. What was that noise? Is that a snake? I see you. Missed. Missed. Oh, did I get you? Ha! Sucks to be you. Uh, bone knife. Oh, I ain't got any space for bone knife. Have I? I do! Ha-ha! So I've got some food as well! A victor- I'm encumbered, I don't care. So, R2 rotates. L2 places. Oh! Brand new door. Oh, oh yes! All right, we're making real a real good start, I think, personally. All right, let's clean this place up a little bit, uh, since it's uh, foul. Oh, I can fix... You know what? I forgot I can fix things. Well, I've already started destroying this one now. Definitely sounds close, that snake, but I'm pretty certain it's outside, so I don't think I've got anything to worry about. It's probably just come for snake revenge. He is! He's in the house! Get away! Oh, did I get him? I did! Oh More meat! More bone! How did he get in? Must have got in through here, so can I just... Oh, no, wrong button. Hmm. Oh, I'm going to have to build... I'm going to have to destroy something in the house to get some more wood. Jesus Christ, that's loud! You bastard! Oh my god, I have goosebumps up and down my leg. Oh no. We're in we're in a bad position. Let me stamina come back up. Leave my home! Alright, place it on the wall so I can see. I know it is, because i got meat on me. Oh good, he's down. Oi! Pack it in! Okay, I'm injured again. Already. Yep, I know. Can you just give me a second? Why can't I use this? Oh! What have I got in my hand? A bandage. Why can I not use a bandage? So is this because I'm I'm not bleeding and this bandage is only for heal, uh, covering blood wound? But I needed the first aid bandage. Is that what it is? I'm going to go with that. Okay, okay. Have I still got the raw meat on me? Yeah, I don't... I don't need that. Are you breaking in my door that I just built? Oh, hey, tell you what, if you want to stay there, that's fine. Let 
Let me listen. Stay off my lawn. All right, let's get rid of this meat because I don't like the fact that I've got so much meat on me because I know that attracts the zombies. There we go. Whew, okay. Well, we've died once, but I blame myself for going to a house underprepared. But we survived the first night. We're just going to wait for that little dingle dingle to say that we've made it. But I am more than happy with that progress. Um, we were trying to make a door. So let's go, let's go chop down some wood now that the uh, sun's almost out. Put a door in this front place and call an end. There we go. A door is down. Yeah. Well, it's ugly as sin. But it repairs what's been done. So I'm not going to complain too much. There we go. Uh, you know what? I think this is as good a place as any to call an end to this episode. Uh, we're just going to break down a couple more doors. Just to get some more resources so that we can keep building. And neaten this place up. So yeah, we're going to be back soon with episode 2. Day 2. Uh, and day 2, our goal is going to be go find the trader. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, we will get better and better as time goes on. Uh, and I really hope you enjoy this new series. Again, it's not going to be a cinematic series, uh, unlike our other ones, because it's just not really suitable. But that means we can put these episodes out, out a lot easier. So let's hope we don't die here. Right at the end of the episode. Boom, take that. Uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. And I will see you all on the next episode coming very soon. Bye.